All right, this is James from North Mississippi. This is going to be the first videotaping of a uh, lift of the tower. Let's see if it'll go all the way up this time. Well, as you can see, I got close, but I'm not there. Um, I'm about four inches away at the bottom before it reaches the true tipping point. So this isn't quite high enough yet, but it's getting there. All right, this is James from North Mississippi. I'm gonna lower the tower down, and we're gonna see um, about shortening my cable just a little bit more. All right, I've raised it up a little bit at the support point, and you can see there's some slack in the cable now. I'm gonna to try to take that slack out and uh, tighten up my stay rope on the other side a little bit to keep the flex out of the pole as much as possible. And then we'll see how the next lift works. Talk to you later, bye. <clears throat> All right, here we are again. I'm gonna try another uh, lift attempt. Taking the slack, a little more of the slack out of the uh, cable tighten my uh, stay rope across the roof and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, I'm going to stop the video for a minute. I've got a technical problem down at the base, and uh, I'll turn it back on in just a minute. All right, the base uh, leg had caught on the bottom U-bolt, bolt, and I had to knock it over just a little bit. But uh, we're going to try to see if we can lift it the rest of the way now. It is so close, it's unbelievable. Let me see if I can disconnect the camera and show you how close the uh, base is up there. All right. Sorry if my hands are a little unsteady. But... see I'm that close to being home but my tire my uh, tower just is not at the tipping point yet and there's no real pressure on my uh, 
jack so I can't tip it over. I can probably take a little come along and pull it the rest of the way, but I'd rather have it done on one cable. So I'm gonna lower it down again and readjust the cable one more time. Thanks for watching. James from North Mississippi. Bye. All right, here we go again. Tighten everything up again. Uh, you can see I've got uh, a set of, uh, another set of cinder blocks holding up the uh, tower. It's just a little bit higher, a little bit more slacks out of it. And we'll see how this goes. Well, I'm about two inches away. I'm still not at the tipping point. So I gotta do it one more time. All right, here we go. Another attempt at lifting the tower all the way up. You may notice I've raised the uh, support on this end of the tower quite a bit. Uh, and I've taken all the slack out of it that I can, I think. And we'll see if it works this time. If not, I'll have to redesign my entire cable system. All right, here we go. Well, it's up, up all the way. You just have to uh, align the pins up in the base and it'll be ready, but it is indeed up all the way. That's where she'll sit. Let's see if you can see the whole thing up there. There's where she'll lie. I'll be taking her down a little bit later on, but I just wanted to make sure I could get her up and I can. A successful first complete lift. Hey, just a little more video. I've got the tower pin, one pin in each leg of the base now. There it is, standing in fully erect position. Come around here. Give you a good shot of it. It's uh, August 14th. It's about uh, 10 till 7. Temperature still on my thermometer over here. Still almost uh, 100 degrees out here. And the humidity is much higher. The heat index is probably about 110, 115. It's miserable. But you notice it is on the ground. There's one pin in that leg, one pin in that leg, and one pin in the other leg. It is straight up right where I want it. There's no slack on my, I mean, no tension on my cable. My pole is standing straight. So I think I'm in business. I'm going to uh, disassemble this thing and lay it back down and start working on the turbine part of it. This is James from Mississippi. Have a good day.